We've got a leak right here, ladies and gentlemen. This needs to be fixed. Let's go get the stuff to fix it. Oh, oh man, we got some rain that came into the tools. Oh man. All right, where's that gun at? Right here. So here's the silicone this is gun. What you always do though, Brooklyn. I know, but <laughs> I'm always messing up the tools. I'm gonna do you a favor, man. All right, let's see it. I'm gonna build you a build you a tool shelf or some, a, a cabinet. Organize all your all of our tools. All right, I think that's a plan. Is that like the laser gun? Cut that um, valve off over there. Cut the valve off right there. We just let the water run down so it doesn't have a lot of water flying out when I take Oh, and I took the pipe off anyway. All right, well, we just get to it. <laughs> the, it off? Yeah, the pipe fell out. But it wasn't that much water in here anyway, so. How many have you broke, Brooklyn? Uh, only one. I have to put a, a bigger pipe in here. Oh man, this one has a hole in it. No, we can cut that. We can cut between the holes. And there's another hole here. We can cut can between it. Oh, and it still be long enough. Yeah. Okay, I'll, that's what I was concerned about. So probably this size. Cut it in between each one of these notches. Cut it there, okay. and then cut it there. All right. Okay, with the PVC cutter over there. That's too big. No, it's right there, Carlos, come on. Put it on there and start squeezing. Squeeze, it's not going squeeze, nowhere. squeeze again. Let it go, do it again, oh. come on. Do it again. Well, I didn't know it was gonna do all that. Keep squeezing. There you go. Right. Like this, and this will poke in this side, and then this will tell us, this gauge will tell us how much water is coming in here. One inch, oh, unless they have the one inch bulkhead fittings at Home Depot, we gotta check that. Are you gonna remember all this or should we write it down? Write it down, cause I don't forget. Cause I know you, you we're gonna go there, and we'll forget one rubber piece on the way back. Oh man. And then by the time we want to go back and grab the other one, it's going to be closed. Three-fourth inch elbow, and we need two of those. We need um, T's, three-fourth inch T's. Is that for the... That's for the inside of the tank. Fish, okay, inside of the tank. Two of those? Or one of those? Uh, two of those. Let's put two on there on the list. All right. Let's see if they have any bulkhead fittings. Inch bulkhead fittings. One inch. Times two. What's the bulkhead fitting for for the fish tank? Yeah. On side? To connect it, yeah. Okay. Oh, we need inch and a half, inch and a half coupling. And this is for the bubble wash filter? No. No, no. For the tanks. For the fish tanks, okay. Yep. Then we need the inch elbows. Two of these. Now these are the ones I want right here. Not these other T's, man. We need this. One, two, I need these. And I need this. Yep, we need two of these. Are you sure? Two? Is two stretch or we need three? Three then. How, many, how often do you think you visit at Home Depot? Mm, I don't know. Once, twice a week? Something like that, yeah. During busy season, you're here like three, four times a week? Yeah, possible. <laughs> I've been here for only a week, so I've been here three times already. Yeah. <laughs> Pipe two? Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what we have installed the, the other um, pipe on here with the other fitting. It was this fitting actually that was causing the problems. So we had to up the size of it from a one half inch or from a half inch to a three quarter inch. So now we're just continuing the, uh, the rest of the construction of this solid lifting overflow with the three quarter inch pipe. I need one or two. Uh, give me two of them. This is a fish, a dead fish. It's trying to make its way down to the solid lifting overflow. We gotta remove him out of the tank. Another fish has bit the dust. And that's 
just the law of the land. If you would have bought this right now and they say you're throwing that away, they'll look at you crazy. That's actually a perfect dinner fish. Okay, where should we bury it? Here. Here? Wait. Turn him in there. No, no, don't touch him. Bring him down. Bring, bring it down. Yeah, there you go. Another fish bites the dust. All right, quick little update what we did out here. Nothing too fancy, just plumbed. You guys remember the old plumbing? It went over the top and it came over, kind of looking like this. And then all we did um, instead of that, we just wanted to kind of make give it a little cleaner look and just plumb it directly into the tank. So no big deal. Uh, we did reduce it from this inch and a half because this ball valve was already, I mean, this, this pipe here, the diameter of it is already too large uh, for the flow of this um, this tank. So we just reduced it here, three quarter inch, um, and then we'll probably be able to open this uh, probably the whole way and then let the tank go out and flow that way. So it just gives it a, you know, a little cleaner look, put a unisil on here, and then this here just to give it a better look. So getting it prepared as much as possible before we get these fish in here in the next few weeks. So we did that with both of the tanks. Ba voila. And that's pretty much it for right now. Hot out here, burning up. Feeling a little itchy, mosquitoes coming out. Ready to munch on our skin. And um, that's pretty much it. Staying hydrated out here and living the farm life. All right, let's run a quick test on it. Waiting for this bead filter to fill up with water. All right, now we got flow. No leaks. Let's see, no, no leaks coming down here. Check in here. Nice circular flow. Yeah. Circular flow, yeah, just yeah. follow the motion. Woo. Woo. Make you sick, make you dizzy. So this is good. This is looking good. You surprised me again, Brooklyn. I'll take back everything I say about plumbing about you again. <laughs> I didn't know you got plumbing skills. <laughs> you did it again. Yeah, it's crazy. I was expecting a lot of leaks when you were building it. But, you surprised me. All right, it's a new morning. Let me show you guys a little update real quick before we get out of here. I gotta take Carlos to the airport. He has to fly back to California, take care of some things uh, before he comes back, so. Quick update, gotta feed the fish real quick and show you guys a little bit of things that's been happening. Okay, so we got, we got the fish in here. Still looking lovely and hungry as ever. Give them a quick feed real quick and then proceed about our day. Okay, so that's it with that. Finish feeding the fish real quick. Come over here and show you guys a quick update on the system that we're doing over here. The main grog system. Show you the windows that we put in last night. Um, or actually one of the windows that we put in last night. We still got the other one to finish. Um, but we'll be getting to that soon. So here it is. Wow. Got one window on this tank here. We got this one uh, set in. Now, I'm predicting on this one, it's possible that this one might leak. It's, this one might leak. We had to drill a few extra holes on there by accident, so I think that it might leak. I think we might have some problems with this tank, but only time will tell, and we'll see. That tank over there, still haven't got to yet. I'm gonna probably have to finish that one while Carlos is gone. So typically a two-man job for that, but I'm gonna have to get out there and wing it. Sometimes it just happens that way because that's just the law of the land, so. Get these tanks finished, get them all plumbed up, have them looking nice and neat, and ready for the people. What's up, man? How you feeling? Good, good. Let's go back to California, and then come back again, and we're going to finish up the rest of the system. You pumped up, man? Am I pumped up? To get to Cali? You ready to get back to Cali, man? I am. I miss the food. <laughs> I miss the food over there. I miss the, uh, my girl. Okay. I miss the mom. I'm Mr. Goofy Dad, <laughs> and I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out his plants and keep up with him when I get back. 
Okay, good, he, good. He grows uh, lotus flowers. So we're gonna see. All right, Carlitos is out of here at the airport. We will see this man next week. Say bye-bye to the people. Bye-bye, people in Florida. <laughs> I'm about to go back to Cali, and I'm gonna come back again next week on the 26th, and we're gonna get back to work again. I'm going, going back, back to Cali, Cali. I'm going, going back, back to Cali, Cali, Cali. Uh.